hey y'all so this is our last day here and look at this little aviary listen can you hear them your little birds aren't they the cutest yeah it's a nice little aviary aren't they cute y'all Y'all, I used to have, uh, what was it? 12 birds and 14 fish. Yes. And it was pretty incredible. <laughs> this is the beautiful lobby right here. And, okay, so, that being said, I'm gonna go over here and maybe have a nice little, um, look, there's the aviary right in the middle of the lobby. So maybe I'll sit in this really cool chair and talk to y'all. So I hope you guys are having a very good day today. And uh, we will be flying home today. And um, as uh, good of a trip it's been, it's been really good. Um, business stuff but also it's just been good time for me and my husband has some time because normally uh, he takes off for this and normally he wouldn't because he's self-employed so it's been nice for us to just have some time together um, even if it is working um, luckily Chick-fil-A allows spouses to come on the work for this particular trip and uh, oops my little name badge is sliding and uh, so I have just really been enjoying being with him being enjoying I've enjoyed being with him and um, so today we will have some more really awesome speakers and um, we're gonna find out where we're gonna be next year and I'm betting I'm betting no pun intended it might be Vegas which would be so shocking to me if we went to Vegas I know Vegas is uh, you know it's kind of smoking and drinking and gambling people call it Sin City and there's something about Chick-fil-A going there that I'm like I don't know I know it's just all in fun but it's not really because like my boss went there once for a trip and he said it was just so sad to him because you know prostitution is legalized there and so a lot of uh, sex trafficking victims get brought there and there's a lot of young teenage girls on the road you know just literally lining the streets he said um, with you know for prostitution it was just so heartbreaking because they were like his daughter's age so he's just like he was so tore up over it but he was there on a business trip so anyway I don't know if he'll be there I don't know if it might be Canada. We have a new store in Canada, so I'm wondering, could it be an international trip? That might be exciting. I'm gonna start moving in the direction that I should go. And um, so anyway, y'all, look, just everything is so beautiful. These are beautiful hotels. This one's called Rosen Shingle Creek. And um, it really is, it's stunning. I don't even know where I just came from. I think this way yeah this way so I'll be walking with y'all while I am talking to you but um so usually what happens is we take over about five to seven hotels it just depends uh, we've grown so much I think this time it was one two three four five six six hotels and we were here with another company that took seven to ten hotels so when you travel with this many people it's pretty incredible um, but, and the, because you have to have these really large hotels, oh y'all, you know that I did have to go right into that little boutique and yeah, I shopped. I will give y'all a haul later, but um, look at that, isn't that pretty? Just look at the lighting. Look at just the way they do the restaurants. Isn't that the coolest? The little rooftops, kind of looks European. I don't know if that's what it's supposed to look like or not. But um, anyway, so what we'll end up doing is having meetings in the morning. Um, speakers usually encourages our operators. And then we will usually go and work all day long. For me, because I'm on menu, we usually are sampling product to the operators to let them know what might be rolling out, which I did all day yesterday. My feet were killing me. Um, and then we usually have a dinner 
Um, one night we have a dinner just for them to celebrate. One, the next night we have a dinner just for them to just be together, really, not a, a rewards type sales type dinner like the first one was. And then the last night they usually do um, going to some place in the city uh, that they treat us to. And that's the part that's always just mind boggling that they would do that because it's Disney. I mean, it, some, what we usually do is we'll take over like a whole area of Disney. Like they'll, um, I think it was the boardwalk, what's it called? Orlando Point. Anyway, it's all restaurants, it's all on one street. And um, restaurants, bars, karaoke, entertainment type things that you get to do. And um, so you do all of that. And by the way, the bars are mock cocktails. Mocktails is what they call them. Because no alcohol is served. And um, I'm gonna be taking the stairs. And y'all look how my outfit matches these stairs. Can you see? It's that same color blue. So pretty. There's a guy here that's giving away chicken wings, y'all. He's so full of energy. You can hear him now. <laughs> and so we are going to put him in the video. Here, do you hear him? <laughs> okay. So here Boom. he is. Give us chicken wings. How's it going? <laughs> Boom. Boom. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Usually it is a sea of people walking through this hallway. And, um... Come on, here looks so thinned out. Oh my goodness. Because all the lights behind it and it is thinning out. <laughs> but um, they usually have different vendors here who've brought things. They usually have food all the way up and down the hallways, food and drinks. Just so spoiled. Uh, now this is for operators, but we are here to serve them and we get, end up getting spoiled too. Look at this Tesla. Not one launched into space, but here's one. I wish I could get my husband this Ford truck, y'all, look. Is that gorgeous? So, um, let's see. Um, hold on, I'm gonna see if they're gonna let me get through. But anyway, it's gonna be dark inside, so now we'll have to let you guys go, but love you, and I'll see you soon, bye.